Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another After Dark live stream. Hope you guys are all doing well. Good to see you guys all again. It's only been uh, a couple hours. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Jonathan Sellers, Travis Harmon, AJ Furanari, Kale Studenbaker, uh, Queez, Alex. Good to see you, man. Um, Travis is here. Cochise is here. Uh, Ryan Sands, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. TA Aviation, good to see you as well, my friend. Uh, Redbeard Flies, what's up, man? Good to see you as well. Prop Nut, how are you, man? Mopar Dude, good to see you back, my friend. Schmitty, good to see you. Mr. David Tribble, how are you, sir? Good to see you back. Appreciate you being here. Maxence, good to see you as well, my friend. WestJet Vancouver, good to see you as well. Um, Jawad, how are you? Matthew Coles, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. We've got the beautiful FMC here in front of us. We're going to be doing another um, first look, if you will. We had a good little run this afternoon flying it in Europe. And now it's time to take it um, flying over to... Um, sorry, flying in Canada this evening. We're going from Edmonton into Calgary and then from Calgary into Vancouver. Should be a good afternoon, a good evening of flying. Definitely looking forward to this one. If you guys want to join me, we are on VATSIM. Feel free to join. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get this bad boy programmed. Ready to rock and roll. Um, should be a lot of fun. Uh, the screen, the FMC is washed out the angle of the lighting. Maybe turn up the brightness. Uh, if I turn up the brightness, you'll probably, oh, that's probably why it looks washed out. Cause the brightness is all the way up. There you go. Should be much easier for you to read now. Um, Raul, how are my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for being here, my friend. Um, Chris Hud, how are you, man? Good to see you as well, dude. Welcome aboard. Um... Are you online at this time? Yes, we are, Parzva. We are online, man, if you'd like to join us. Feel free to join us. All right, friends. So, um, as the title suggests, this is an After Dark live stream. We are flying from Edmonton into Calgary, Calgary into Vancouver. Again, please join me if you would like. We are online this afternoon. Um, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. And we are heading on into uh, Calgary for our first leg um, today. Short little hop, but it should be fun. Uh, two little hops. Um, the flight into Vancouver is going to be much longer. So uh, first thing is first, let's come down here. We're going to go ahead and start our flight leg. We're going to go to weight, fuel, and balance. We're going to go to the payload page. Um, according to Sim Brief. Hello, Captain. Hello. Something you might not know about the FMC. Oh? If you press the legs and hold buttons, it summons the cute sky waitress. Oh. Also, you didn't post your wings in the Discord. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Um... I appreciate your seat, uh, Tway. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I went to go open up the chicken wings and they had gone bad. Yeah, they were about a day or two. They weren't long. It was just they had kind of like that, you know, chicken. It, it just, yeah, it's got that funky smell, man. Yeah, unfortunately, I guess I had let it. And there was no, there was no date on it. That's another problem. There was no like best used before. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll post it up. I ended up just making a chicken breast. Uh, with some rice and some salad. Very boring. That's why I didn't post a picture. 5.1 on the fuel this afternoon. We're looking for a zero fuel weight of 57.4, uh, which is going to give us a payload weight uh, this afternoon of uh, roughly 14.3. So we'll go 14.3. And we'll enter that in. Go ahead and bring this back here. Looking good. Yeah, it was one of those things, man. Chicken breast got to go with the legs. I actually prefer chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are delicious, man. I love chicken thighs. Okay, 56.7 is what we said. What was I looking for? We're looking for 57.4. Uh, 57.4. Now, we want this to be a little bit more. So, let's add um, Let's add about 700 onto that. So, we're actually looking for about 15.1. No, not 51. Jeez. 15.1. Enter that. And then come back here. And that should give us 57.5. Cool. I'm happy with that. That is good with me. Sweet. Um, let's go ahead and 
Uh, go to the overhead. Let's work on some things up top here. Let's get our panel brightness on. We'll continue our flows. Uh, those fuel pumps can come off for now. Wonderful. Everything else looks good up there. Let's go ahead and spool up the APU. One, two, and three. Wonderful. Uh, come upstairs here. Everything looks good there. Everything looks good up there. Trim air can come on. Uh, everything else looks good. Research fans are in auto. Packs to the off position. Uh, we're going up to 25,000 feet for the first flight, so we'll leave that at 25,000. Uh, logo lights on, engine starter, switch over to both. Good, cool. Everything looks good there. Sweet. Um, let's go down to the FMC. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put some panel brightness. Now, you guys wanted this last time. I was kind of showing you on the FMC what it looks like and then what it looks like. Um, here on my screen. So, beautiful. First thing is first, we're going to hit our route page. And you can see we are uh, sitting on the ground in CYEG. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. CYEG. And we'll go ahead and populate that on the top left. Beautiful. And we are going over to Calgary this afternoon. CYYC. And we'll go ahead and populate that up here top left. Good. And we'll execute that. Wonderful flight number this afternoon is WestJet 3456. Sorry. 3464. Alrighty, and we'll populate that. Wonderful. Um, cool. Let's go directly over to our NITREF page now and we'll punch in some numbers. Zero fuel weight, 57.5. We're going to plan for a fuel burn of 3.1, which is going to give us a reserve of 2. Fill that in there. We're going to leave our cost index and our cruise altitude blank right now. Uh, so we'll just leave those two blank for now. So let's go back over to our departure and arrival pages. Hit our departure up top here. We are planning the um, Calgary, uh, sorry, Edmonton 1 departure out of runway. Actually, I guess there is no departure. Pardon me. So we're just departing out of runway 2. We'll go route, activate, and execute. Uh, then we'll go to route page, next page. Uh, we're going to be radar vectors direct. Um, Olimi. So Oscar, Lima, India, Mike, India. We'll throw that there. From Olimi. We're going to Quebec, uh, 814. Looks like we've got some ATC online. Uh, to Advox. All right, and we'll throw that in there, and we'll execute that. From Advox, we're going to jump on our arrival, but it looks like we've got some ATC, so let's go ahead and uh, give him a ring. 120.5. Um, so we'll tune to them right now. 120.5. Right. Cool. Um, and I'll get some volume. Right. And let me just grab the weather so I can say that I have the weather. my pen went. I swear I lose my pens all the time. Edmonton approach, uh, November 185 whiskeys requesting IFR is at um, gate 14. Um, requesting IFR clearance to uh, um, to Vancouver. Correction to Calgary International. Hey, November 185 whiskey, thanks. Yeah, you are filed for Calgary. Pen is out with the carpenter's pencil. Shit, dude, apparently. And I'm wearing one eight five whiskey copy the print. Was the, did you confirm the departure was the runway's Deer 2 Gabit 1 departure, 85 Whiskey? 85 Whiskey, yeah, that's correct, and the squad code 4235. Hey! 2300 feet one ground, how is the air up there? <laughs> CHLM, thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, it is uh, quite high elevation. Anytime, Whiskey, if you just read me back your squad code, your clearance will be valid. So I just need to read back on the squad. Squawk, um, clear to Calgary um, Airport. 
clear to Calgary via the Gabit 1 departure, departing on 802. Um, yes, clan via SID. Uh, frequency is this frequency. Spock 4 through 4235. 85 whiskey. 85 whiskey, that's mostly correct. We don't fly uh, Canada. There is no climb via SID or uh, uh, departure frequency in the clearance. Uh, so it's just climb the runway heading to 6000. Okay, just climb the heading, runway heading to 6000, then 85 whiskey. Okay, wait, 85 whiskey, the repack's correct. Push back and start up with your discretion and let me know when you're ready for taxi. Everton approach, good evening, WestJet 3464 with the weather IFR to Calgary, please. WestJet 3464, good evening, you're clear to the Calgary Airport via the gap at one departure flight plan, route depart runway 02, squawk 4204. Cleared in to Calgary. Gavit departure out of runway 02. Squawk 4204. Westjet uh, 3464. Westjet 3464. Read back, Frank. Push back and shut up. Thank you. Discretion. Call me for taxi. Trade for taxi. Thanks so much. Uh, Westjet 3464. Alright, cool. We got our clearance. Um, so, we're going to enter our departure. We're going to go departures, and we are going to select the Gabit 1 out of runway 02. We'll go ahead and execute that. Now we'll go to our route page, next page. So, now it's going to be Vectors, Olimi, Advox, and then we'll jump on our arrival. Um, I believe they are landing north. Um, let me just get our squawk code in here. Can somebody do exclamation point Matar CYYC? for me in chat please i'd just like to see the weather for calgary i'm pretty sure we're going to be expecting a north runway but i'm not too sure spongy rubber aj thanks guys all right winds are zero five zero at nine so they're definitely landing north okay so let's come down here we're going to be on the advox eight departure with the um what was our was our no transition i guess uh and we're gonna expect the ils 35 left so we'll go ahead and execute that go to our legs page we'll scroll through here make sure we don't have any crazy discons which it doesn't look like we do beautiful so it looks good to me i'm happy with all of that wonderful um let's go ahead and hit our nitref page our initial cost index this afternoon will be 20 our cruise altitude will be 250. Winds up at 250. Will be 290 or 276, uh, 285 at 52. 285 at 52. We'll throw that in there. I said deviation this afternoon. Minus two. Good, and we'll go ahead and execute that with our N1 choice. limits. D-rated yeah, takeoff this afternoon. D-rated climb. Go to our uh, takeoff Bravo, page here. Alpha Alpha Delta, Flaps are going to be set 5 degrees. We'll enter our CG weight of 18.6. Good, with a trim value of 6.0. Interesting. Uh, and then we've got our V-speeds. So we'll go V1, 135. VR, 136. V2. 144, and with all of that, our pre-flight's basically complete with the FMC. Beautiful. Let's go back to our overhead panel here. AP is on. Generators are on. Bleeds are on. Pa uh, isolation valve to auto. Packs from the off position. We have 25,000 plugged in there. Looking good to go here, friends. So, uh, I believe it's push and start on us. Um, it is push and start on us. So, let's go plug-ins. We're going to go better pushback. We're going to go start pushback. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. And we're going to go to about here. Apron, our discretion, good. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Cool. I want to throw that in there. Looking good. I'm sorry, I got my track IR working now. Sweet. Looking good, friends. Okay, cool. So we're going to get 144 plugged in here on our speed. Wonderful. Ground power is off. The rest of our fuel pumps are on. Come down here. Ground services, GPU is disconnected. Cool. Auto brake can go RTO. 
We'll cycle the park brake here quickly. We got the jetway. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Oh no, I hit the camera. My bad. That's oh boy, that screwed it up. Oh, we just, we had it so perfectly too. Good job, Captain. Bypass and insert it. Release parking brake. Okay, let's go ahead and anti collision lights coming on. Park brakes released. Starting pushback, and you may Ready start engine. Thank you. All right, we're clear behind us. Left side, right side. That may be, uh, hold on. That may be an issue for that American coming in. Just give me a sec. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Yeah, just stay there. Oh, I can't just resume them. I actually have to set the park brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay. I just saw that American 787 coming in. I was like, ah, uh, better not push back. That's going to cause some issues. CYEG, yep. That's where we are. Edmonton. Okay, come on. Oh, it's disconnected. I'm bypassed and has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Well, I'll see you next time. Loving the new FMC. I hope they release Jesus. an Airbus version. Keep Chris. up the great work, Cap. Drinks for everyone. 2A is buying. You're crazy, man. Huge no floaties to you. Guys, quickly show some love in chat. Chris Hud dropping a fat $100 donation. Chris, thank you, dude. I appreciate you, man. That is very, very kind. What's even got a thing in here? Uh, okay, come on. Better push back. Like, let's go. Thank you so, so much, Chris, for support, dude. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much. And we've got uh, Beck and Jake dropping we are back the $4 once again, donation. Cap. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Long day of flying. Fun day of flying, though. Okay, better push back. Can you... Can I... Hello? Hello? Better push back? Hello? Thank you. Ground to cockpit. Please show Ground me where you want to go. Toe is driving up. Just power back like they used to? Dude, I wish. I wish. <clears throat> uh, Zach's not available quite yet. I'll let you guys know throughout the week. Is there not a way to like pause the pushback? I should have just did that. He got from Vegas again, FMC looking amazing. Huskers, how are you, man? See you back, dude. Oh, 
Uh, it should be, Zach. It should be, man. Fingers crossed. How long is this fight? About 35 minutes? Not long. So connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. All right, park brakes released. Starting push back, and you may start engines. Okay, cool. Oh boy, tow driver's drunk. Noah! First time I've been able to catch a live. I'm happy. Thanks so much for support, Noah. Appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you. Engine number two over to ground. And start valve is open. I got a good N2 percentage. And we're looking for 25% before we introduce fuel. Introduce fuel. I don't know why it does that, Travis. Throttle being reduced right after takeoff? Nope. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Park brake set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Thank you. Engine number one to ground. Start valve open. N2. Andre, thanks for support, my friend. Coming with the Euro donation. You shall float to you, Andre. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right. Introduce fuel number one. Connected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you. Engine starter cutoff is off. Generator one, generator two. So I should go to the overhead, it'll just be easier. Um, let's get our engine bleeds on, APU bleed off. Packs left side, packs right side. 25,000 is in. Um, probe heat is on. APU is off. ISO valve is auto. Cool. Looking good. We'll set our flaps to... Five degrees. Cool. And... What? Uh, approach? No, we're ready to taxi. And Edmonton approach, WestJet 3464 is ready to taxi runway 02. WestJet 3464, runway uh, 02, the alternative 2999, taxi via Austin, Alpha, hold short here. I do a taxi via Oscar Papa and we'll hold short uh, runway 02 for uh, WestJet 3464. Also, November 25 Ski is also ready for taxi um, runway 02. Oh my god. I'm gonna. Why? Why do okay, I keep yeah, hitting that tonight? Five, list D, runway zero two. The altimeter is two triple nine. 
taxi via vape in your distant impression, you could back in Alpha and give way to that other 737 on Alpha before you join Alpha. To the taxi, take the taxi ride again, 85 Risky. Yeah, it'll be at Quebec and Alpha, and while you're on Quebec, just give way to the other 737. Taxi to runway 02 via Quebec Alpha, 85 Risky. And November 185 was, you just confirm you'll give way to the other direction traffic before you taxi. Taxi lights on. It is indeed, Chris, yeah. All right, it's got our flight director, left side, right side, armor auto throttles, VNAV. I'll now have no because it's going to be heading select. It was at uh, 3464 and call me airborne the Windsor 3604 not clear for takeoff runway 02. Play airborne clear for takeoff runway 02 west of 3464. All right, friends, you heard him. Landing lights on. Engine start switches to continuous. Strobe lights. Wing lights. Our trim value was like six, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Visheth, thanks so much for support, man. Have a good flight. What are my graphics set to? Uh, they're up on my Discord, Visheth. to 40, Chrono, Toga, take our power set, your speed's alive, line up and right one way, run away zero to 85 risky, cross check, Can I get that heading again for Westjet 3464? Yeah, left turn 300. Left turn 300, thanks. Westjet 
All right, flaps up one. Runway turn off, taxi lights coming off. Clean. Clear for takeoff officer to call you when I'm airborne. Um, 85 risky. Westjet 3464, further left, then turn and direct to leave me on course. All right, left turn and direct. Uh, what, sorry, for Westjet 3464? That'd be uh, direct to leave me. Direct to leave me, thanks, Westjet 3464. All right, so let's come here. We'll go to legs. We're going to find Olumi. And we'll fill that in with there, and we'll execute that, and we'll go ahead and autopilot, LNAV, and there we go. The aircraft will make the left-hand turn. Sweet. And we are direct Olumi. And we didn't have to look down at our FMC, we didn't have to do anything, we did all of that from this guy. How awesome is that? 85 whiskeys at airborne at 3,100 for 6,000. Hey, uh, November 185 whiskey, continue present heading, climb flight level 2 let's go. Climb flight level 2 Landing 10, 85 whiskey. Engine start switches off, logo lights off, wing lights are off. Kids gonna be flying our old asses to Vegas. Left turn heading two seven. Maybe. Left heading to seven zero eight five whiskey. What ortho down there? It's ortho for XP, actually. Second leg to YVR, yep. Left turn, direct Olimi on course. Direct, left turn, direct Olimi on course. 85 Whiskey. Level 250. 250, thanks. 3464. 3464, you're leaving my airspace. Surveillance is 24. I think I'm watching you. That's my point. What you do, Decimate? Thanks for jumping on. Give us ATC, man. Appreciate it. I said 3464. See ya. Anytime. We'll see ya. Alright, cool. Unicom. Up to flight level 250. And enjoy those views, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Curious what's a good zoom level for Ultra for XP when downloading tiles. Uh, 16 is usually like your go-to. If you're running low on space, you can go to 15. Um, if you're just going to be flying over an area and you're not really concerned with how it looks, you can probably just go with like zoom level 15. Yeah. I don't fly in the real world, HK. It's 
standard barrel. There's Google or Bing, that's Bing down there. Uh, no, I was never a pilot, HK. I don't hold any license, man. Nope. This is only for the Zebo and the IXEG and X Plane 11? Yes. Zebo and IXEG for X Plane 11, and then on the P3D slash FSX side of things, um, it is capable with the PMDG series 737, 777, and 747, I believe. Thank you, A320 Captain. Um, AJ, the plan is for it to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator eventually, as soon as there are aircraft that can be supportable. Yeah, they really fixed it up, Andre. They really, really did, yeah. Fresh Melons, what's up, man? Good to see you. God, I love the West Jet livery. I had some barbecue chicken with rice and salad. Jordan. Whiskey maple, I think it was. Yeah, whiskey maple. Marinated chicken. Thanks, Soviet Wizard. Appreciate that, man. We're going to fly a 350. I'm not sure we're going to be back in the 350, man. Sorry, dude. Need to work on the Hooters air livery. <laughs> so we'll head it over to our progress page. And here you can see that we're going to hit top of climb in one nautical mile. There we go. And now it switches over to top of descent, which will be in 62 miles. There's cruise altitude, 25,000 feet. Beautiful. So not a long flight. Confirm, Simon peripherals have outgrown the desk. Ah, uh, not quite, Schmitty. I'm real close right now. I'm pushing it, man. There's no, there's no lie. There's no lie with that right now. I'm pushing it. Yeah, big time. Big time pushing it. Not going to have much room for anything else. He kept it's possible for anyone to find a way to set up the FMC once they would get possible uh, to set it as a paid stand or just leave it flat on the desk. You could leave it flat on the desk. It comes with the stand that it's in right now. Um, it's a pretty cool little stand. You can put it up to, I don't know what this is, probably close to about 45 degrees. You can put it on a 45 degree angle. It's also got a bunch of other notches, so you can have it, you can have it flatter. You can have it more sitting up. So, yeah. I need a tiller. Oh, man. That would be cool. I'm surprised no one's made one yet, to be honest with you. Imagine a tiller with, like, an interchangeable handle. <clears throat> um, it is Schmitty, yeah. But I plan on moving out of here probably within the next, like, five or six months. So not really worth a big change yet. Thank you, Aviator Brandon. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, he, how are you, my friend? Good to see you as well. Where are you heading, Cap? We're going to Calgary. Yeah, staying in Ottawa. Well, going to move closer to the girlfriend, I think. Just outside of Ottawa. Not far, but just outside of it. Like a little, a little suburb, a little rural suburb.
I'd like to get a yoke flying a 737 on the Airbus Thrustmaster currently, but the yoke isn't available. Ah. Uh, should be soon. Just move into the barn with the horses. Hey, man, if, if I was able to get good internet, it'd be a possibility. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Chris. Yeah. How many legs did they cap? Two. What are my opinion on overnight flights? Hey, if that's what you're up to, that's what you're that's what you enjoy. Hey, what's wrong with that, man? Nothing wrong with that. I'm flying a Cessna caravan in plane simulator. Sweet. Did you see the new Alaska livery? Uh, what? The new one. They have a new, new, new one? <coughs> Pardon me. We can get good internet. Elon Musk will sell you fine products. In fact, they're rolling on Canada at the moment. Starlink? Yeah, they are. Yeah, my girlfriend's dad is... Um, He's in line for when he wants to get one for their cottage. That's the one draw. The, the drawback with their cottage right now is there's no internet. And the internet that's available, it's like, oh boy. Not even worth paying for, you know? So. Infinite Flight, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully all is well. Remember, guys, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Do me a huge, solid, nice little intimate stream this evening with you guys. Ferran, take care, man. Thank you for your support, dude. Appreciate you being here. Have yourself a wonderful evening or morning, dude. Internet at the cottage like Smitty's Wi-Fi, but mine is free. True, yeah. How long will the flight? Uh, we're going to be starting our descent here momentarily. The second leg, though. We got a second leg. Second leg is going to be a little bit longer. HLM. Oh, it's the yoke gal, not the daisy cam dot. I was disconcerned <laughs> for a split second there. <laughs> thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge enough floaty to you, man. Thank you, thank you, buddy. I made you well. Don't worry, my friend. Good to see you. Any tricks for buttering it? Just practice, man. Practice, practice. Have you ever flown in KBDX or Seattle? Oh, absolutely no. Yeah. Plenty of times. Almost meant to be Schmitty. Right, ten miles till descent. I'm sure the FMC is going to start yelling at us. 
Let's reset our altitude here. Um, I think we need to take it down to like 7,000. Initially put 7,000. Um, I'm going to take a look at my charts here briefly. I didn't see that. I guess it was just a special livery. It's obviously not their livery moving forward, right? I think you have to be a little bit more... You have to clarify that a little bit. It's maybe a special livery. It's not their livery moving forward. I was going to say they just switched their livery. They just changed it a couple years ago. So they have a special livery that is celebrating... Those. Got you. Okay, um, we are on the Advox 8 Arnav arrival. We need to be 8,000 feet and 210 knots. So 8,000 feet is what we're going down for. 8,000. There's the deceleration. You. Okay, cool. So if it's VNAV and you set your desired altitude, it will follow your flight plan in the FMC. Ideally, that's what it should do, Noah. Yeah. Ideally, my friend. You planning to store the FMC on the desk cabinets or what is easiest for you storing it later? Uh, yeah, it just unplugs, man. It's just one plug. I'll probably do that. I'll, I'll probably get a sleeve or something, a dust sleeve. I'll probably cover it with a dust sleeve or something. Again, you can see the message popping up here. And it's saying drag required. So that's a nice nice little feature. I could honestly probably turn off the lights and you guys would be might be able to see it a little bit easier because it'll be hold on, let's try something. Let's uh let's try and turn off one of these uh what are the action lights? Is that easier for you guys to see with one of those off? Is that easier? Or do you want it on? Because now you can kind of see the background. Now you can see the lighting. Much better? Okay, cool. Sweet. Hey, oh. Good looking out. 200 IQ. Am I using reshade? No, I'm not. <clears throat> Pardon me. Mr. Baldo, welcome back, dude. Perfect timing. I think I have a Jumbo Crown Royale bag. You can slide that in for storage. <laughs> oh my god. Are you Canadian? C2A? You gotta be, man. With all these fucking... You have to be, man. You have to be. You have to be, dude. Jesus, man. Too funny. Head to Vancouver next? Yes. We're going over to Vancouver, my friend. We have a gnarly headwind. It may take us, may take us a little bit. Not too bad. Thank you so, so much, C2A. Appreciate you, man. Out of control, sir. Out of control. We're going to be on 
It's going to be our next frequency here. Yeah, the ortho is really, really good up here for some odd reason. The rest of Canada is terrible. I think that's what he wore to the Korean barbecue. <laughs> Who, me? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. It was not me. Man, Alex, what I would do to go there right now, buddy. What I would do to go there. Oh. go to town. Alright. Um, let's check our... Uh, let's go to our menu. And we'll go D-Link. And we'll go AOC. And we'll go Requests. And we'll do a weather request. Hey now. Focus. Hey now. This may be a problem. Focus. <clears throat> there might not be enough light for it to focus. This may be a problem now, friends. Hey now. Hey now. Yeah, I think we may have to turn the light on. I don't think there's enough light for it to focus. Put hand on the FMC. I don't think it'll do it. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. And then we can type in CYYC. And we'll punch that up in here. Station 1. And we'll send... And we'll give it a second. And then it'll say messages. And we click on the message. And there we go. We've got the ATIS now for um, Calgary. So we've got wind 050 at 9 knots, 15 statute miles, few at 18,000, overcast at 23,000, 11 degrees. Uh, altimeter is 2986. So we'll jump back in here. We'll go 2986. And I'll punch that in. Cool. And now that we're on the descent, we're going to set our auto brakes to two. And we'll come down here. We'll arm those guys. All right, sweet. Cool. And then um, from there, we'll go back to the prog page. That's okay, we got it. Thanks, Mofi. Appreciate you, man. All right, 10,000 feet. Landing lights are on. Got a diesel here. We need to be at 210 for Selev.
Chris dropping another 50 bomb. Holy macaroni, Chris. Dude, absolutely insane, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the support, dude. Hey, Cap. Are you a real pilot? Yes. Hey, Cap. Will you ever fly an MSFS again? Yes. Hey, Cap. Why don't you ever fly into Calgary? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for your support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Huge, huge, huge no floaties, that Chris. That's $150, man. Thank you for the support, dude. That is no joke. I really, really do appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. Very, very kind of you, dude. 210 on the speed is what we're looking for. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so, so much. And we got Scott Ratchley coming up in a business class. Huge enough floaties to you, Scott. Welcome to the crew. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you very, very much, man. That's very, very kind. Thanks so much, uh, Scott and Chris, man. Really, really do appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. That's very, very kind of you. Flaps one coming out. You can see downtown Calgary. Airport's right over there. All right, and now we're going to approach and we're gonna be on the three five left. We need to be at Gabble for 6,500. Gabble, 6,500. I'm not an IRL pilot, no. Is this Canada for X-Plane? Yes, it is. You can put exclamation point scenery. So cool. Love it. Chill, Davis. Chill, man. It's not very nice. Scott, coming in with a $10 donation as well. Thank you very, very much, Scott. I appreciate you. No message attached to that either. Becomes a member and donates $10. Well, Scott, thank you very, very much for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's got 6,500 plugged. And I'm gonna turn up our sounds. We still got tower online. Thousand to go. Man, the flight to Calgary or the flight to uh, Vancouver is going to be beautiful.
Oh, shit, three, six. Three, four, six, four, be advised. I think you might be, have your mic muted, because nothing but the time. Yeah, indeed we did. Thanks so much. Uh, Calgary Tower West at 34. Uh, 64 is uh, ILS 35 left. Push at 34, it's Calgary Tower. Good day. The winds are 050 and 9 knots. You're clear to land runway 35 left. Expect to vacate Charlie 4. I clear to land 35 left. We'll expect to vacate Charlie 4, West at 3464. Alright, cool. Let's drop our gear. Attention, all aircraft Edmonton Tower will be closing shortly. Fifteen. Six mile final, let's get fully configured. There's downtown. Fops 25. Fops 30. All the lights. All right, landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are 30 and indicated, ground spoilers are armed with the green light, cabin crew has been advised, you guys have been advised, sweet, only one thing left to do here, friends, butter this one out, all right, cool, my airplane, my throttles, Chris, Jesus, dude. Fuck, man. Throwing around that kind of cash, dude. Holy hell, man. Thank you. Holy macaroni. You make it look so damn easy. Love your content. I've learned so much from you. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words, man. Honestly, that means more than... Uh, that's just crazy, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I hope Chad is going crazy. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you very, very much for that. 500. Appreciate you, dude. 500 feet. me and then I just smack the camera oh my god oh my god auto brakes coming off the camera right here is it, it, I'm telling you it's tough right now okay come on airplane is the sound pack nope and tower west at 3464 is vacated try for 
Uh, West Chad 36, 30, sorry, 34, 30, 64. Let me try that again. Um, I'm going to be closing now so you can monitor Unicom. 120 decimal 8, have a good one. 122 decimal 8, thanks for ETC, we'll catch you soon. West Chad 34, 64. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Not the landing we wanted on that one, friends, was it? Oh my goodness me. Oh man, X Wayne hasn't done that in so long. I, that that's like a that's like an open GL thing. X Wayne hasn't done that to me in so long. Man, landing lights off, strobe lights off, wing lights off. All right, well we got to redeem ourselves into uh, got to redeem ourselves into Vancouver now. It's a must. It's an absolute must. Rough landing. I mean, it was still only 170 feet per minute, but it was, uh, you know, the uh, still it wasn't a bad landing. Just man, holy! That hasn't happened to me in, as you can tell. I almost shoved a go around. Almost shoved a go around, but it's okay. We got another flight to do. No worries. All right, APU spooling. How many turn-off lights can come off? There's our gate. We're going with 15. Taxi lights off. Captain Canada, you are uh, fuzzy wuzzy red. Uh, Smitty. Ginger bear. Here's a little uh, something from uh, Smitty for some sort of uh, camera tripod or uh, something. Your uh, elbow is going to uh, break something. <laughs> it this is not for it really dispensary. Uh. <laughs> Schmitty dropping the $200 donation as well. You guys are absolutely bananas. Park break is on. Everything is good up there. <sighs> Schmitty. Guys, can we please get some love in chat? Amy Schmitty coming in with the $200 donation as well. Can we get a huge shout out to Chris dropping the $270 donation on final? Chris Schmitty, you absolute legends. Huge no floaties to you, gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for supporting the streams. You guys are absolutely bananas, man. Absolutely bananas. Thank you guys very, very much for supporting. Not for medicine, he says. No, enough medicine tonight. <laughs> oh, my dear Lord. Okay. Um, holy macaroni. Okay, we got to get Chris on the board. Chris is on the board with... Um, what does Chris have now? Chris has uh, $410 worth of donations. Chris... Thank you, man, for your support, dude. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties to you. We gotta add another 200 on to Mr. Schmitty. It's gonna put him up to 1300. Thank you, Schmitty, for your support, man. I appreciate you. Let's toggle replay mode. Let's back this sucker up. Okay. Uh, I mean, not even a replay that I, I even want to be showing here. I don't even know what it's gonna look like on replay, to be honest with you. Um, and then we got to get Chris up on the board as well. A little bit of cross one there too was nice. Um, and then we got to get Chris up on the board. Chris, absolute legend, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, $410, man. Lag, lag, <laughs> lag. Oh no, it would have been a nice landing too and we just, <laughs> it just got so chunky towards the end too. Oh man, that sucks dude. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. Oh well, what can you do man? Oh, it's 420? Oh, it is 428, right. Sorry, I would know I was thinking that. Thank you. 420 there's there's madness behind his donations 420 thanks so much Chris I appreciate you man thank you Schmitty for that as well 
You guys are absolutely insane, man. Guys, seriously, thank you. Oh, chunky landing. Chunky, chunky, chunky landing. Looks really good with the uh, downtown in the background, though. Looks good with downtown in the background. All right, friends. We're not even going to watch really any replays, to be honest with you, because this isn't worth watching any replays. So let me throw it to the Be Right Back screen. How is this camera? Is it have we broken you yet? No. All right. Should be good. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw it to the Be Right Back screen. I'm going to load the sim quickly, and I'll see you guys all in about five minutes, okay?
All right, friends, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. We're back on the Vatsim Network. Um, I'm just going to turn our sounds down here just a tad. All righty, cool. Sweet, looking good. Camera's all set up. Hopefully you guys can see that properly. Welcome back to the stream. Let's jump inside the cockpit. Um, we're in turnaround state again. Just gonna pause the music here. There we go, cool. All right, let's go to our electronic flight bag. We're gonna start our flight leg. Um, this leg, we need 6.5 on the fuel. And, no, not payload, what? Fuel. 6.5, and our payload, we need um, 15. Cool. So, we should have a zero fuel weight of roughly 57.4 again. There we go, 57.4. Beautiful. Cool. Let's go to the overhead. Um, let's get some lights on. Everything looks good up here. We'll get our fuel pumps off for now. We'll spool up the APU. One, two, and three. Good. Seatbelt signs can go on. Chime only can go on as well. Everything else looks good up there. Trim air is coming on. Pack left side, right side off. Isolation valve gets opened. Engine bleeds are coming off. We're going to 32,000 feet today. So we'll plug in 32,000 feet. Good. Cool. Let's come down here to the FMC, FMG, whatever you like to call it. All right, wonderful. So, first thing is first, we're gonna go to our route page. Sitting on the ground seat, YYC. And we're going over to Vancouver, CYVR. Execute that. Our flight uh, number today is WestJet. 3466. Beautiful. I'll go to our NITRAF page. Our zero fuel weight's 57.4. Uh, we're gonna plan for a fuel burn of 4.5, which gives us a reserve of two. We're gonna go with a cost index. Actually, we're not gonna fill out any of the cost index quite yet, so we're just gonna head directly over to our departure and arrival page. Uh, we're gonna go to departures. We are planning for the um, Vancouver 7 departure out of runway 35 right. We'll go to route, activate, and execute. Beautiful. Um, from the route page, we'll go to next page. It's going to be radar vectors direct bow tag. Good. From bow tag, we're going to go direct Quebec 894. Left side, because it's an airway. Over to booth. We'll execute that. From booth, we're going to jump on our arrival. CYVR. Planning for the Canuck 5 arrival with the ILS 8 left, and we'll execute that. Beautiful. Go to our legs page. Just scroll through here quickly. Make sure we don't have any discounts, which it doesn't look like we have. Beautiful. Happy with all of that. Go back to our knit ref page. Cost index initially will be 20. Looking for a cruise level, which I mentioned, of 320. Uh, winds up at 320. Uh, will be 303 at 75. Clear that out. 303 at 75. Good. Um, ISA deviation this afternoon will be plus one. Execute that. Transition altitude is 18,000 feet. Got our N1 limits here today. Wonderful. Um, It is going to be a D rate. Actually, mm, yeah, actually, we could do a D rate. That's fine. We'll do D rated takeoff, uh, D rated climb. That's good. We'll go takeoff. Flaps are going to be set five degrees. 
good. We'll enter our CG weight here of 19.3, which gives me a trim value of 5.75. We have our V speeds here on this side, so V1 on the left hand side, 136, VR 137, V2 145. And with all of that, friends, our pre flight is complete. Looking good. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and pop this back up over here. Go to our overhead. We can get our APU generator online, left and right side. Wonderful. Um, APU bleed can come on. Duck pressure's coming alive. Looking good. All right, cool. Everything looks good. We'll get the rest of our fuel pumps on. That is all good. Engine mode selector to both. Cool. We're good to go here, friends. So let's go to plugins. We'll go to better pushback. Start pushback. Cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Um, we're gonna go this way. For a nice little taxi around. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, really, the only thing that I could do with the camera is I could, like, maybe tilt it down more like that and move it closer. But still, even at that, you don't really get the full... Um, I guess that's not, like, a bad representation of it. Would you guys rather just see the screen or would you rather see the whole FMC? Hatches are closed, ready to connect. Oscars! Hellish IRL first leg to Vegas, Orlando to Atlanta due to severe weather. Ooh. Usual one hour flight time. Three hours in flight with 40 minutes shut down on active taxiway between 27s for 40 minutes due to no gates. Jesus, that sounds like fun. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. That sounds like an awful... Well, at least you're in the airport, right? Could be worse. Could be worse. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you very, very much, Huskers. Thank you, thank you. So connected in favor of the whole thing circuit. being viewed? Really? Okay. Parking brake. Vishat, thanks so much, man, for support, dude. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, buddy. All right, cool. Park brake's coming off. Start Get that collision lights on. Yeah, you may start engine. It's going to seat everybody down in the back. Sweet. And we'll get our... Flight attendants prepare for departure, cross-check, and all call. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to be testing this on the IXCG? Yes, Aviation BC, absolutely. Yeah. All right, engine number two to ground. Fuel number two.
I'm not quite sure, Melon. You probably have to set something in the menu, man. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Park brake set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Thank you. Engine number one to start. Start valves open. N2 is rising. For 25% fuel. Introduce. Good. Disconnected on bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you. All right, sweet. We got the starter cut off. Engine generator left side, right side. Engine bleeds are on. APU bleed is off. Packs to the auto position. ISO valve goes to auto. That all looks good. APU is coming off. Beautiful. Looking good, friends. Park brakes off. He's giving me the thumbs up. Taxi lights on. Engine start switches. And we'll go ahead and set flaps five degrees. US law requires passengers to comply with all signs and to remember instructions about the belt and smoke So that you may follow along, we have provided a safety instruction card in your seat pocket. All exits on this airplane are closed. All right, cool. Do I think the C CDU is worth it? I mean, if you're somebody that spends a lot of time and flies a lot of uh, you know absolutely dude absolutely it's worth every penny How much will it cost? We're not sure yet. Power's offline? Yeah, everybody's offline now.
Chicago traffic, West Jet 3466, leaving the ramp, taxiing runway 35, uh, right to Calgary traffic. sure why he's departing runway 10. Everybody's departing 2-9 and 3-5 right, and he's going to runway 10. Not sure about that one, little buddy. Calgary traffic, uh, in the front row, and I have skis crossing runway 1-6. You already missed the flight? No. Nope. We're just, just getting ready for departure. Or I might just want to wait for you to be gone just in case. Alright, we'll wait for you for wake two minutes on uh, Brandon Chapman. back over there. Ooh, a Transat 330. Hmm. That's sexy. Uh, not yet, Dan. We're going to do that next week. Calgary traffic, November 185. Whiskey's taking off on way 10. He's going to take off into an airplane right now. And Calgary traffic, Nolan OR 21.2, work the air of all runways. Calgary traffic, uh, energy at 140, type Boeing 737, we're uh, rolling runway 29 er departure, uh, eastbound on the uh, Stampede 9 departure, climbing 7000. Where do I buy this? I'll let you know when it's available. Calgary traffic, energy at 140, we're aborting runway 29. Uh, who's at the end of the runway not making calls? To the person taking off in room zero.
3 does not have a runway 1-0, it has a runway 11 though. Yeah, it's close though. Hey buddy, you better not be rolling on runway 1-1, one, one. we're at the end of 2-9. Uh, you better abort, dude. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, you um, better go off the runway, dude. Alright, everything is fine now. Alright, man, you gotta have had some supervisor on board with us today. Uh, it's not a very good idea to be doing that. You make sure that you make some radio calls and then you're just flying professionally, because oh, that's, that's okay. not cool. We're on the runway, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Our little buddy got a little bit anxious. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. Tiger traffic energy at 140, we're holding at the 29 permit. This man. I went to go like move it just to make it in like the perfect angle and I end up smashing it. <laughs> oh Jesus. All right, and cargo traffic west at thirty four sixty six, lining up and waiting three five right. Cargo traffic. All right, landing lights are on. Strobe lights, wing lights. Cool, looking good. It's going to be heading. Uh, Heading select. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good After flight. departure. November 185 Whiskey, you on frequency? Yes, 85 is on frequency. 85 Whiskey, uh, you are aware that you took off without making any uniform calls right into the aircraft, correct? Say again? You are aware that you departed Calgary without making any uniform calls uh, right into another aircraft, correct? I did say I was taking off on way one one or one zero, I guess though. Understood. The other aircraft which I'm currently sitting in was also making calls and on the runway before you turned on, so it just please keep keep an extra eye out in the future because you caused a bit of a disruption. Yes, okay. I I understand that. Uh <laughs> I think he's still holding short. Yeah, that's him there. Calgary traffic energy at 140 is uh, departing runway 29er Stampede 9 er departure, climbing 7,000 eastbound. Calgary traffic energy at 140, Boeing 737.
Hey man, it's all good. You gotta learn somehow. It's all good. It's all good, dude. All right, he's rolling. We got a number for you to call. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button, my friends. You very, very much appreciated, guys. Calgary traffic engine at 140, born climbing 4,000, stampede 9, climbing 7,000, uh, eastbound Calgary traffic engine at 140. And Calgary traffic, Westjet 3466, departing runway 35 right on the Calgary 7, uh, Calgary, uh, traffic. Alrighty, throttle's up to 40. Chrono's on. Let's go. Kick off power set. Airspeed's live. Lock our gear. Auto brake can go off. We maintain runway heading for now. And let's go flaps up one. We're going clean. When we turn offs, the taxi lights can come off. All right, we're coming down here. We're going to go to legs, and I guess we want to be direct bow tag. I'm going to tell on LNAV, it's going to say uh, not available. So we're going to make a left turn. Direct bow tag. In Calgary Traffic, West Jet 3466 through 7600, direct bow tag. VFR flying? Not really, no. You're the Nolanor 733, sweet. We're through 10,000. 
Landing lights off, engine mode selectors back to the off position. Logo lights off, wing lights off. Beautiful, we're gaining speed. I'm gonna throw on autopilot now. Wonderful. Very good, nice departure. Cool. We'll go to our progress page. Sweet. to see a supersonic flight. Oof, I don't know if we'll get one of those, but... Newark spotting. What's up, man? Thanks so much, dude, for the dollar donation. Appreciate you, buddy. Don't even know how to say that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Right, 737 guy? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, it, it truly, it, like, it's crazy how five knots turns that airplane into a literal brick. Rumor has it that if you hit init five times and type Easter GG, you get a surprise on the FMC. Really? Where are you seeing that, Daniel? Who told you that? Did Alan tell you that? It's not going to, like, break the FMC, Dan? Can I do it right now? Do you know where off, roughly where the autopilot is in the 72? Yeah, it's down to your right. If the message will read out loud, it is said like this. Barukata Adana Elohenu Melek Hawalam, Ashakid Shanubi Mitzvadav. VZ Vanu had Lugner Shell Honaker. I have no clue what that is, Newark Spotter, but thank you for the support, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, Dan, I was going to say, should I do that? Because. Why do I see aviation? How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Mr. Popo Man, how are you, mate? Good to see you. Thank you, Trenton. Appreciate it, man. Damn, we're supposed to be on LNAV. Uh, I'm going to go direct. Okay, it already is direct Simta. All right, yeah, good. Actually, we can probably go direct Binvo. Good. Here we go. All right, direct uh, Binvo. 
go. Do I know about aviation uh, maintenance? Not a lot, no, unfortunately. How's the CDU? How does it feel in terms of uh, like and quality? Absolutely amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. I mean, only time will tell if it's gonna, you know, if it's gonna stay, uh, you know, only time will tell. But I mean, so far it's absolutely amazing, dude. Absolutely amazing. Zero complaints from me, my friend. It does, Mr. Popo Man. It's absolutely awesome, dude. Yeah. Is it affordable? I'm not quite sure if I would say affordable. Uh, the price hasn't been fully confirmed with me yet. Yeah, absolutely, Jonathan. Yeah. For sure, dude. How are we still not out of clouds? God, I hate the weather in x plane sometimes, man. What's my estimated guess for the price? As soon as I say that, it updates. I swear it listens to me, dude. Uh, my estimated guess for the price is... Uh, I said six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. Six hundred and ninety nine or seven ninety nine. That was my guess. Mac, good to see you, man. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. You ever tried infinite flight? Uh no, have not. I know what I'll be using my stimmy on. Hell yes, dude. That is the perfect thing to use it on, my man. 200 IQ. What? Now I hit it with my foot? Are you serious, dude? When I'm not hitting it with my with my arm, I'm hitting it with my foot. rare form tonight. Jesus, man. Just all over the place, dude. It's a day off, okay? It's a day off. <laughs> I don't stream on Tuesdays, alright? Is it obvious? You zoom out the setup so you can see your setup? Uh, no. You guys already see my setup all the time. You know what the desk looks like.
Check Discord, do you need the sound on? Why? What is it? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Hey, I, it's not a very good idea to be doing that. <laughs> They're at Threshold flying on Vatsim? Oh man, these guys, dude. Are they flying with me right now? Where are they going? Are those LEDs? Yeah, they're little LEDs. Yeah, these things? Yeah. Storing, how do you like the FMC? Dude, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. All right, um, let's go into our, in, uh, sorry, our menu, or sorry, let's go to our NITREF index performance. We're gonna bring our cost index up to 55 for the cruise, and we'll execute that. Now, all right, I wanna try something. Because Smitty just sent me something, and it kind of does look better from the angle. So we're gonna we're gonna bring this guy. We're gonna we're gonna switch views back up. I kind of like what Smitty was saying about the like that. Yes, you see some wires in the back. I'm not too concerned about the three or four wires you guys are seeing. But I think that's just a little bit better, and I think that's just gonna make sure that I don't, uh, that I don't hit it. They're heading to Regina? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> that sucks, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Currently with GTX 1652, what is the best card that you can get for the stream? Uh, to get stream better in X-Plane and, uh, just like a 3080, 3070. I think this is just better because, like, it's not so dead on and, like, I can actually make... And I won't hit the camera now at all. <coughs> you can move it a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Like this. about there. There. I get the whole unit in there. Do you only have X-Men 11 Microsoft Flight Sim? I do, yeah. Those are the only two sims I use, man. How much does it cost, Adam? We're not quite sure yet, man. Speculation is $7.99 USD. $7.99, man. So, it's not gonna be for the faint of heart. Yeah, I agree, Dan. Easily streams Roblox. Greater than steep decent upcoming. Sky waitress on the face again. <laughs> Thank you so so much for support me. Mad man, man. You're a madman, sir. Huge enough loadies to you, C28. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Oof, this is some. Hey, what is this? This is okay. Ooh, stinky. Some smelly medicine.
Rams, thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. a pilot live uh when you were a kid um not really to be honest with you i didn't really get the pilot bug till i was like i want to say like 12 13 and at that time it was like not that it was too late but you know listen man i didn't have my parents didn't have a lot of money growing up either and one thing in canada is to become a pilot you need to have money there's no, you know, there's no if ands, or buts about it. It costs a lot of money to become a pilot in Canada. So, um, yeah, it was never really like an option, man. I knew my parents couldn't afford, you know, couldn't afford a hundred plus thousand dollars to put me through pilot school and stuff. And, and that's just, that's just the reality of life, man. You know, that's, that's the, that's the bare, the bare bones, the truth of it, you know. Not an IRL pilot, no. Long time no see, man. How's the new CDO handler? Good, man. A lot of fun, buddy. A lot of fun, dude. get all the frequencies for Vance and Miji, uh, Adis and Tower. Uh, I have a client called X-Pilot that I use. Travis. Yeah. I just grabbed this FMC from, uh, just took it from work. <laughs> just took my FMC from work here. Took it out of the aircraft and then came home for the weekend. <laughs> Can you imagine, dude? Standard issued FMC. <laughs> I thought all FMCs connected via PC, <laughs> via USB. Oh man, how's it feel compared to the real 730? Pretty damn close, Mahal. Pretty damn close, man. Marcos, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude.
I agree, Lima Hotel. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, dude. And this just furthers, like, you know, this just makes it even crazier, dude. It's wild. Apple 30 pin connectors. <laughs> Bro, do we have a headwind? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Yeah, it's, this is, we're like in the thick of the, in the thick of the, uh, of the uh, jet stream, man. Yeah, it's gnarly. 95 knot. 95 knots. Infinite flight guy is out of control. Out of control is what it is. they'll make an Xbox version? I don't think so, Jonathan. I'm not sure if something like this would even be compatible via the Xbox. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to speak for anybody, but yeah, I'm not sure. Does track eye work better with wide angle monitors? Uh, I think it works fine with anything. Yeah, I agree, Travis. That's another, I'm just not quite sure. Yeah, I don't know what hardware. Is this X-Plane or P3D? Uh, this is X-Plane, Vitor. In my opinion, which of them is better aerodynamics? Probably X-Plane. Yeah, I think, Dan, I think that just comes down to are you more of a GA flyer or are you going to fly more, you're going to fly more of the big boys. That's what I think it comes down to. You know, are you going to spend more time in, in a 737 in Boeing type airplanes or are you going to spend more time in a GA? You know, I think that's what it comes down to. As well, another advantage, Dan, between the two is, you know, one is, you know, what this thing you can use in both sims whereas the other one it's it's just for microsoft 2020 yeah app kerman evening cpt hello hope you're well 
Tomorrow I get to learn how to push back one of these big birds. Sweet. Finishing my on-job training this week for Alaska Air. Absolutely Smiley face. Absolutely awesome. Very cool. App. That is that is very, very cool, man. Congratulations on the job, dude. Super cool. Congrats, man. Thank you for your support, dude. How many flight hours do I have on X-Plane? I think I'm up to 3,500. It's crazy if you think about it. Best part of the job is the flight benefits? Hell yeah, dude. What runway are you landing on? Uh, I'm going to plane for 08 left, I believe. Definitely told us to make an E220 instead of the 340. I'd much rather have any. E I would love to have a 220, dude. Shit, that'd be awesome. Would love that. Make do will be pretty damn cool, Dan. I agree with you there, my friend. <laughs> Joby, what's going on, buddy? Uh, we don't have a price yet, Vib. Our guess is $799. $799. That's what it's looking like. $799 McChickens. Dude, where is, where is a McChicken a dollar? 12 cut. Where is. Are McChickens a dollar in the States? You guys have dollar McChickens, dude? That's dangerous, man. Dollar menu? McChickens on the dollar menu? Where, bro? Where? Dude, McChickens are like $7 here. They're literally $7, dude. Not even kidding. Like, one of the reasons I don't get McChickens is because they're way more expensive than most of the other shit on the menu. And they're not that good. Like, oh, I would eat them for a dollar, though. I'd slam them, dude.
They were on the dollar menu. Man. Shit, I've been missing out, dude. Seven Canadian dollars is like 13. What? No. It's a dollar 30. Dude. The fuck? That's a scam. Good old Canada, dude. Tax everything times a million. It's time to go to the U.S. and get some McDonald's. Shit. Why not? Can vouch they're on the dollar menu. <laughs> Gio, what's up, man? Damn, dude. You ate garlic shrimp and uh, spaghettini for it. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm hungry. Stop making me hungry. No, no, Mopar. No, no, no. Two McChickens, large fry, and a mango smoothie. Oof. Damn, dude. Okay, listen. Listen, though. Can you guys do me a favor? You guys do me a favor? Next time you get French fries from McDonald's, get barbecue sauce. And dip your French fries in the barbecue sauce. And tell me that isn't a match made in heaven. I'll wait. I'll wait for your answers. If only had Chick-fil-A. We do. We have a couple. They're starting, but... Because their barbecue sauce isn't really barbecue sauce. It's like a sweet, like, just a little bit different from ketchup, you know? Yeah, you guys are going to make me go get some fucking McDonald's now, man. Mm. Fries and mayo. Yeah, fries and mayo is good. Yeah, frit sauce. Tim Hortons? Nah, Tim Hortons isn't good anymore, man. Fries with gravy or ketchup only. Thanks. I'm telling you, Alex. Try it, dude. Just try it. Try it. Believe me. Faith, man. You know how much medicine I consume? Faith. Faith in the taste buds. Fries at this time are old. No, here's what you do, Alex. You go... And you say, can I have french fries without any salt, please? And they have to make you a fresh batch. I'll wait the three minutes, no problem. Mmm, give me some fresh fries. And then go home and put salt on them. Or ask for salt on the side when they, when they make them. Tricks. I had so many buddies grow that were used to work at McDonald's. Man. Excuse me. You must be their number one customer. Hey, man. You think you think these guys make it minimum wage? Give a shit. Nah. Make it happen. Joe, that's what I said. You ask for salt on the side, man. Like, you ask for salt on the side anywhere. They give you, like, 15 salt packets. So you put that shit, keep that shit in your car. And then you just get your fries and boom. I don't know about you, but like most of the time, I want to say 95% of the time, I'm, I'm getting McDicks and I'm going home with it. I don't eat it in the car. So if I'm at home, I got salt, I got pepper, I got everything I need at home. You know what I mean? You feel me? Come on, I know y'all feel it.
salt on the side. Well, yeah, they mix it usually. You just ask for salt on the side. That way they have to give you fresh fries. Also, if there's a fine lady at the window, ask for the McDigits. <laughs> yeah. Is there traffic in the simulator? Please, very cool. Yeah, there's very traffic. Well, you can do VAT sim. What was my first flight sim? The one that I bought, like, by my own and spent money on it was X-Plane 9. X-Plane 9, X-Plane 10, X-Plane 11, and Microsoft Flight Simulator are the only simulators that I have bought and spent money on. Uh, maybe FSX. I bought FSX as well. FSX. So I guess FSX would have been my first one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it would have been FSX. Dead. Is that even a thing, man? I feel like that's not a thing nowadays. Do we have five guys? We do. Yeah. Love five guys. Five guys, oh, five guys is delicious, dude. Can you ask for a double fry at McD's? I know you can ask for that at a and A double fry? What's that? Five guys french fries? Mmm, so good, dude. They're Cajun fries? Ooh, baby. 53 miles till top of drop, friends. We're getting there. Um, speaking of which, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom quickly. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back.
All right. <coughs> onion rings? A&W is the best onion rings, I think. Although they've been going down in quality. What's up, Manny? Uh, somebody put you a link. It's right there, man. Uh, but it's not available yet. Not available for sale yet, Manny. No worries, Manny. Fat burger? I've never had fat burger. I've never had um I've never had Whataburger either. Ketchup on hot dogs? Hey. Don't talk shit. I put ketchup on hot dogs. milk I have not had in and out either no sad what a burger's trash what Man. don't disappoint me like that all right 18 miles till top of drop Let's go inside the pit here. Oof, beautiful views. Look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, thanks. Explain. Why is explain just screwing with me today, man? Five thousand feet initially. Cool. Descents in eleven miles. Well, this is this is explains idea of flying through clouds. Welcome to explain.
X-Men 12 will fix this. I really hope so, man. <laughs> I really do hope so. And time for descent, friends. There should be. Yeah, you would think so, Travis. Instead of having to push and pull things, yeah. Truth. From Victoria to Calgary, and it took 15 uh, longer than normal because of the winds. Yeah, pretty pretty hard winds right now. the soup all right um we can update our weather we we'll go to menu and we'll go to d link and we'll go to aoc and we'll do requests and we'll do a weather request and we'll type in cy vr and we'll throw that in there and we'll send and it's getting the weather right now doing the a cars request oh getting a call right now so we've had messages let's tune to messages we're getting the winds for vancouver uh winds are showing 170 at six knots 20 mile visibility few at 35 few at 56 broken at 93 overcast at 12 13 degrees altimeter is 3018 so there we go so we got that in there uh who's giving me a call vancouver approach 128.6 1286 all right, let's go. One, two, eight, six. The Google approach. Good evening, West Jet thirty four sixty six. Uh, flight level two two zero, descending on the Canuck flight. Watch a three four six six Vancouver Arrival Hello Set Squawk 0726. 0726 West Jet 3466. Watch that 3466. Thank you and the Vancouver information Alpha current. Altimeter three zero one eight. Plan for the as runway zero eight left. Descend one six thousand feet. Right, Alpha is current. We'll expect the uh, ILS zero eight left and one six thousand feet on the descent. To West at thirty four sixty six. November morning five was right, descend four thousand feet. Realism hat on. Yeah, we got the ATC. Descend four thousand eight five whiskey. Oh. 
Is he been, oh, he's in front of us. That's right. Okay, so we've got all that. Yeah, we can preset that now. Uh, 3018. Good, cool. So we've got all that. I really love that they've offered this. Um, thank you, Schmitty, for showing me that this is an option. So how cool is it that like I can do basically everything that the Zebo is doing in this, I, I, I'm able to do. Absolutely bananas. Absolutely bananas. So, so damn cool. All right, we're going to go back to the... Um, our progress page here, sorry. We're direct stave now. Vancouver approach Nolanor 2122 is ascending through flight level 230 for flight level 110. Nolanor 2122 Vancouver, I will have set squawk 0716. HKZ, yeah, we're on Vatson. All right, there's 18,000. Standard. I'm also going to set my auto Push brakes to two. Four, six, six. Continue to descend one zero thousand feet. Continue to descend one zero thousand for jet three four six six. What's the thing called that your face cam is showing? Uh, what? Yeah, Grant, this is unbelievably cool, man. Vancouver departure, WestJet 933. Good evening. WestJet 933. Vancouver departure, hello, go ahead. WestJet 933. Where do you get the CDU? Uh, I'll have more information Calgary, for you soon. Vancouver 1 departure with information alpha. WestJet 933, Roger. Um, your clearance is number one, standby. Roger. November 1. Yeah, Manny, West we're, we're estimating 799. There's the final. It sounds like that's going to be the. It's going to be the going price. Left heading 170, vectors to final 85, whiskey. Whoa. And Nolan, Nolan Orr, uh, 2122, two, confirm your uh, BFR flight to Vancouver. Holy hell, dude. Uh, I'm supposed to be IFR, but I did not uh, do that properly in my flight plan. Sorry about that, Nolan. No problem, I'll fix that for you. And a squawk can move Charlie, please. Uh, squawk move Charlie. Oh, sorry, not squawk move Charlie. It's that squawk 0716, please. I believe I am squawk 0716. November 1 5, let's get turned off. I think 110, turn a sec to localizer, clear the last airway zero left approach. Is Zubo my favorite? Zubo is such a great airport. Left heading 110, uh, clear the runway 08 approach, um, 85 whiskey. Jesus Christ. No, 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 uh, 2122, I, you're in the, uh, squawking mode, Charlie, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, no problem. Let me try and fix this. It might just be the yeah, IXKG. I've had troubles with it before. Mission 933, clearance is ready, ready to copy. Ready is to copy, Reese? Mission 933. Mission 933, clear to Calgary via Vancouver 1 departure. Flight plan route, depart runway 08 right, Skulk 0762. Cleared to Calgary via the Vancouver 1 departure, uh, runway 08 right, Squawk 0762, WestJet 933. WestJet 933, read back, correct? Push right. stars at your discretion, call for taxi. Let's get some things and some stuff okay. open here for arrival. Nolan, no, no, sorry, Nolan Nord 2122, thank you. The information is alpha current to the Vancouver. 1055. You plan for the ILS runway 08 left and these and 10,000 feet. Uh, plan for the ILS 083. Uh, uh, sorry, can I get those instructions again? <laughs> sorry. No problem, Nolan R 2122. You can plan for the ILS runway 08 left and these and 10,000 uh, altimeter 3018. Alright, 
plan for the ILS-08 to left, descend to flight level 10,000 feet, and altimeter 3082122. Roger. Nolan R2122, uh, uh, just wondering, are you able to set the whistle? Yes, I agree with that, are? Travis. We are very supportive, but you cannot be screaming into uh, yeah, the microphone. I'll switch over to Whistler 6. <coughs> okay, well said. You, here, here. Two, 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 your card direct key here, here. To rejoin the Whistler 6 route. Direct key. November 185, Whiskey, wind. As, one, five, yeah, six, I agree, six, Manny. Clear to line, normally zero, eight left. Clear to land, runway zero, 08, left, 85, Whiskey. So that was still loud, but that was better. I have a way with words. <laughs> right, speed looks to be under control. I'm going to arm ground spoilers. Beautiful arrival time. We get under these clouds. I'm gonna get the anti-ice on. It's only two degrees outside. We're not quite in the clouds yet, but we're gonna be. We just Back to the departure, we're going to to three, ready for taxi, runway zero eight right. Question liner three three, the runway zero eight right, altimeter three zero one eight. Taxi via Juliet Lima, cross runway one three, hold short eight right. Flight Sim CFI, what's up, man? Good to Taxi, see you, dude. Juliet Lima, cross runway 13, hold short 08 right, WestJet 933. There's downtown Vancouver. Uh, no, Alex, I use an audio DAC, and for whatever reason, on my audio DAC, it just absolutely hates um, using that. It's like the audio spike out of control. Out of control. Take care, flight simulation. See you, man. What's your 3466? You said 5,000. 5,000, what's your Nolan R2122 seems like you're like descending. Uh, you gotta maintain 10,000 feet because there's a uh, train zone up there. Vancouver! Uh, that, uh, How you liking the G2584? Looks dope, dude. It's it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I Words don't do it justice. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, as somebody that is now so familiar with the 737, I don't think words do justice just how cool this is the fact that i can have this and i can just so easily incorporate it into my setup and just have it sitting here and right beside my it's just it's amazing dude it's amazing i have my radio stack i have my fmc i have my honeycomb throttles i have my honeycomb yoke may i get an el presidente and one a before what else landing? do i need tucker thanks so much for support dude appreciate you my friend Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is very, very kind. Um, yeah, I, I don't think words do it justice, man. And, and then hopefully throughout the next week or two as we continue to take a look at this, it's just, it's going to continue to impress me because I'm just, it's just wow. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Reese, for turning down your microphone. It's absolutely insane, man. It's absolutely insane. No, no, two, one, two, two stars canceled. Your clear trick, M, Kim. And the said 7,000 feet speed two three zero knots or less. The camera angle is good. You like this? Okay, cool. Stars canceled, uh, I'm glad you like the camera angle like that. Feet at two, three, All right, cool. Um, so speaking of which, let's hit our init ref page up here. Um, and we are going to be planning for a flaps 30 arrival this afternoon. So we'll go ahead and select that. 
Wonderful. And that's going to populate it down there. And we can go ahead and select it in here. Wonderful. And that's going to give us flaps 30 with 143 knots. Good. And again, you can see that the message is lighting up. What I so cool. Cheers, Tucker. I'm grabbing a gin and tonic before touchdown. <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Huge still floaties, man. Thank you, thank you. You guys are crazy, man. Thank you, guys. So, yeah. Um, again, the, the message sign lights up. And again, so does the offset. So does the call. So does the fail. It's so cool. It's so, so, so cool. Um, and again, it's just giving me a message that my anti-ice is on above and it's over, above 10 degrees. So we'll just go upstairs. Call the airborne go. wind one five. Turn those off. Clear takeoff early zero eight right. Clear for takeoff zero eight right. Westjet nine three three. Now there one eight five whiskey taxi to D stand seven zero via mic. Westjet three four six six continue to descend four thousand feet. Continue to descend four thousand Westjet three four six six. Taxi via taxi to stand seven zero oh. via Mike eight five whiskey. <laughs> so excited, Alan. Did you also have a? Did you take a look at the website, Alan? It looks like the website's like somewhat live, and there's some weird pricing on there, Alan. I'm not sure if you if you were aware of that. That's Something maybe go. you want to check out. We have it linked right now. We can obviously three, unlink four, it. Six, but six. Turn left heading one seven zero decent three thousand vector study final. Left one seven zero down to three thousand vectors for final west at three four six six. Alrighty, left one seven zero. Let's turn our sounds up here. I'm also gonna turn on my track IR. Norland Norland Norlanor two one two two D send six thousand. Nolanor. Uh six thousand. What's the link? Um, the website, cockpitmaster.com. No, I made it. I made it only uh, right there, Alan. One of the the one that night bought is just yeah. One one zero to intersect the localizer cleared ILS only zero eight left approach. Left one one zero to intercept cleared ILS three four or sorry zero eight left approach. West at three four six six. Thousand to go. Jack, what's up, man? Welcome. Departure WestJet 933, passing flight level 12, one, one, 1,200 feet. WestJet 933, Vancouver departure. 1,200 feet. Let's arm our approach here, guys. Climb, maintain 1, 6,000 feet. And eight left is intercepted. Hold on, two, one, two, two, D seven. Glide slope's coming alive. We'll start bringing our speed back. Uh, two hundred and ten knots. Washington nine three three clear direct cast on course. Clear direct Perfect. cast Great on course. Perfect. Great news, Alan. Man, I love coming in. It's been so long since I've landed coming in, um, coming in on the east side into Vancouver off the water like this. I love this approach. Would have been cool to land into the sunset. That's okay. This is real world time as well, guys. So, um, right, let's get flaps one out. And there's glide slopes so we can bring our speed back to 190 knots. We're on a 10 mile final. We'll go flaps five. Flight time, we've been airborne for one hour and nine minutes. No, 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 two, one, two, two, turn off, and one, one, zero, turn off. All right, let's drop our gear. Clear clear down, let's go away, zero, eight, left approach, descend 3,000 for the glide slope. Bring our speed back to 170, until five miles. Uh, turn heading one, one, zero, 10, 70. All right, 
and flaps 15 degrees. Okay, our final approach speed, which I'm looking down here, says that we're going to be at 143. We're going to add four to that, so we're looking for about 147 on the approach. We're at a six and a half mile final, so we're just going to keep everything up here. Should have had that on. My apologies. We'll get those guys on as well. Rad, right. looking good, friends. Five miles fully configured, 147. Let's do this. Flaps 25. And we've been cleared to land, so we'll get our runway turn offs and our taxi lights, logo, wing light, beautiful. All right, Sim, behave yourself this time, yeah? Flaps 30 for landing. All right, guys, landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are 30 and indicated, ground spoilers are armed with the green light, cabin crew has been advised, all of our lights are on, you guys have been advised, my airplane, my throttles, flight sim dude this is exactly why i love flight sim this is so pretty Brakes going off. Four six six. Welcome to Vancouver. Exit right lane. Right lane will West Jet thirty four six six. Just missed that. If I'd gone uh, auto brake three, we probably could have hit that. To be fair, if I slammed on the brakes, we could have hit that. But that's fine. We'll keep on rolling it out. It's no problem. Sweet, cool. <laughs> Flaps, spoilers. And our uh, West Jet 3466 is vacated. Mike Five. West Jet 3466, Roger. Taxi to the stand 72. Sorry, 73 via Mike. Stand 73 via Mike. West Jet 3466. Thanks for ATC, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Alrighty, landing lights are coming off. Engine start switches to the off position. Strobe lights off. Wing lights are off. Hey yo. Stop our clocks. One hour and 13 minutes. Nice. Wait. Uh, flight Sim CFI, just wait, man. The, the site's not completely done yet. It's still uh, it's still under construction, man. It's going to be up uh, first week of May. God damn, that was perfect, friends. Oh. 
Look at that sunset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My goodness me, friends. Using VR? No, I'm using... Um, uh, it's called Track IR. Okay. Uh, stand... What did he say? Stand 73. Where the hell is that? Parking positions. Oh, 73 is close. That's up here. Okay. Beauty. Is this Tango? Yeah, this is Tango. Okay, Sierra, and then... Yeah, we can take Sierra. We'll take Sierra in. This is Sierra right here. Perfect. Alright, cool. Let's uh, fire up the APU. Alright, runway turnoffs can come off. Canada zero one one cool. All right, here stand seven three, gate seventy three. Taxi lights off. Oh, easy there, cap. All right, we've got Sam, we're following him in. Um, get our APU generators on. APU bleed, engine bleeds. All righty then. Park brakes on. APU gens are on, bleeds are on, engine number one is coming off. Engine number two is coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vancouver International Airport. What a beautiful flight that was, my amigos. They're not clean flaps up. We'll clean one now. Absolutely awesome. God, I love this airplane, dude. I just, I love this airplane, and the fact that I now have this. Oh boy. <laughs> It's a good thing this is my job, let me just put it that way, because I would just want to spend so much time flying. Ay 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 man, this is just... Like I said, man, words don't do justice. Words don't do justice, and I'm... I'm I, 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 I really, really, really hope that there's going to be, like, a lot of you guys that are going to be able to experience what I'm experiencing right now, because... <sighs> this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. The way that we're advancing and the fact that we're able to do something like this. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for being here as well. It's, um, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely amazing, friends. All right, let's toggle replay. Let's back the sucker up. Let's take a look at that gorgeous arrival in, shall we, my friends, the beautiful Vancouver. Oh, I need to go back to Vancouver. I'm actually talking with my girlfriend about maybe going to Vancouver in uh, September. Um... For those of you that don't know, I, I was supposed to go to a Flight Sim Expo in 2019, and the Flight Sim Expo 2019 obviously got canceled because of the pandemic and everything that's going on, um, and I haven't been able to travel since, and my my fare, that I, I, I accumulated WestJet dollars back, is set to expire, so I'm going to need to travel somewhere. So um, there's talks that we're going to maybe visit Vancouver um, in September. So we'll see. Hopefully that will be kind of cool. I got to use the, the WestJet dollars before they expire, right? So 
Look at that landing, though. Oh, my dear goodness me. Oh, that is how you would expect to land with, 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 with the weather just so beautiful and the sunset like that. Would we not expect to land anything better, my friends? Oh, my goodness me. Oof. Ay, 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 ay. Flew it to perfection. Ah. Come to Vancouver, beer's on me, dude. It'll be a pleasure, man. Oh, my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh. So smooth. The finesse. The finessing that is going on. Oh, my lord. That was on a nice crosswind, too. Oof, look at that scene right there. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, everybody... That's going to go ahead and wrap up this After Dark live stream. Our second After Dark of the afternoon or the evening, if you want to call it. It's been a busy day for me, but honestly, I've had so much fun. Um, again, this 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 is just on a whole different level, guys. And we're going to be taking a look at this in depth over the next week or two um, as, as they gear up for release. I am super excited to be able to to offer this and be able to bring this kind of content for you guys. So thank you for being uh, respective, uh, respectable about it. Thank you guys for understanding. And uh, thank you guys for, for being open to, to just like, you know, these cool ass products and um, understanding where the community is at right now and, and, and understanding stuff like that. So you guys are absolutely awesome. Appreciate you guys. To all my mods, donators, sponsors, thank you all so 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 much for everything that you guys do you guys are absolutely awesome appreciate you guys so 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 much so thank you guys very very much to everybody else that can't afford to donate using a monetary value i still want to thank you guys just as much without you guys here none of this is possible so thank you guys very 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 much for supporting the channel man you guys are absolutely awesome uh, i appreciate you guys so 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 much thank you and to everybody else that can't afford you know to donate with a monetary value hey man listen it's a pandemic i understand you guys are absolutely awesome just thank you for being here, hanging out with me, keeping the streams going, keeping chat going. You guys are absolutely awesome, man. Um, this one was definitely for the fans tonight, so and because I wanted to fly. So thank you guys very much. Everybody wave goodbye to the FMC for now. We'll see it again on Thursday. Guys, have yourselves a wonderful evening. Have a great Wednesday. I'm going to take tomorrow off. I'm going to recoup. I'm going to regain my energy, and I will see you guys uh, live again on um thursday back in europe i'm looking forward to it should be a lot of fun have a great evening guys enjoy the replays peace happy landings friends